just tucked where we're supposed to be. <laughs> it is December 18th, 2020. 2020, December 18th. I am not ready. Is it Friday? <laughs> for Christmas is it, is it, Day. Is it, is it Friday? <laughs> it is. It's Friday. Oh, you can watch the new Mandalorian today. <laughs> I think it's the last episode. Maybe maybe there's going to be a Christmas Christmas episode to wrap things up because it seems like there's a lot of loose ends. And nobody likes cliffhangers or loose ends on series because they tend to just up and quit. However, if you're wondering, the scripture wrapped up all loose ends. Yes. It doesn't leave you what's gonna happen or what <laughs> happened or or anything like that because it's clear it tells you what's gonna happen in the yeah, end then. so you can rest assured as you read scripture it's not gonna leave you hanging Amen. but it's gonna leave you knowing that you need Jesus yes well, and we are morning. inside today because it is it's too chilly cold outside. it's ch <laughs> yesterday yesterday morning we got out and it was like 61 degrees i was not aware that that was the high of the day and it was all going to be getting colder throughout the day so we went outside in t-shirts <laughs> flip-flops and just a beautiful morning well a pastor friend of mine decided well look they're out there in t-shirts it must going to be a beautiful day so he gets out and he goes <laughs> to go work at the church and uh no, lo jacket, and behold, no jacket no sweater he was freezing all day long because it just kept getting colder. So don't trust Matthew's weather forecast. Instead, just trust the word because it'll never leave you uh, with something that's not true. <laughs> Sorry. It was nice in the morning. It just wasn't nice in the afternoon. Thank you for joining us. Yes. I'm Matt. And I'm Randy. And you just tuned into a morning devotion where we can give you the word so that you can be strong in the faith because faith comes by hearing God's word Amen. increases your faith and live victoriously in Christ. Amen. We're Psalms 146. Heavenly Father, Lord, I pray that you bless your yes, word. Lord. Thank you. Lord, just bless it, Lord, in our hearts, in our minds, in our thoughts, Lord, in the things that we're doing, that, Lord, the Holy Spirit might take your word and let it speak into our lives. Help us to be pliable, Lord, in Jesus' name. Thank Amen. You. Amen. 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 And Duke chose just now. He didn't eat yesterday, but now he's going to try to squish his way through <laughs> so the camera through the underside bit. of the camera equipment. That's okay, it. buddy. Here, just have a seat right there. Uh, and and the food's been sitting there since yesterday. Since yesterday afternoon, he wouldn't want to eat it, but he decided right now to eat it. So that's uh, life life of an old dog. Uh, happiness of those who whose help is in the Lord. We're in Psalms 146, and I'd like you to read for me. I want you to notice something in Psalms 146. The words, the Lord, the Lord, and often in, in, in a lot of versions, Lord is capitalized, L-O-R-D. The Lord, the term, the Lord, is used 11 times in the 10 verses of Psalms 146. So to me, the point the main main thing <laughs> to think about is think about the Lord Amen. during this time. Think about all the great things that he has done. Think about his love. Think about his mercy. Think about all the people that Jesus helped while he was here and all the people that his words have helped afterwards. Think about the Lord's mercy and kindness and protection. Yes instead of thinking about things that bring destruction into your life. Worry doesn't help. Matter of fact, worry is not good for you. Trusting in the Lord can take care of the worry. Yes. can get the worry out of there. You're worried about your future? Trust in the Lord. He's got it in his hands. Amen. You're worried about your health? Trust in the Lord. He can take care of it. You're worried about your finances? Put your trust in the Lord. He can take care of it. You're worried about whether you got the right job or not, or whether you even got a job. Trust in the Lord. He will take care of it. This is a Remain psalm. Faithful to this him. is a psalm about the Lord. Psalms 146. Praise ye the Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. While I live, will I praise the Lord. 
I will sing praises unto my God while I have any being. Praise the Lord. God inhabits the praises of his people. Amen. We need to put praise in the Lord. That's pretty simple. If you, if you just take a moment and just thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. But try to, try to do it with a little sincerity. When something good happens, thank the Lord. And, and you would be amazed at what thanking the Lord publicly uh, does for the people around you. Yeah. A testimony of thanking the Lord. What, what are you thanking the Lord for? I'm thanking the Lord that just a little bit of sunshine was out today. I'm thanking the Lord that it was it was nice. I'm thanking the Lord that some birds flew by and it, it put joy in my soul. Thank the Lord. And you know what? When you do it, don't do it to bring attention to you. Yes. Do it with a heart that is to bring Him glory. Amen. Do it in a way that glorifies Him, not you. Because you are not what you want people to look at. Mm-mm. You want people to be focused on the Lord. Amen. That you're saying thank you to the Lord in a way that shows how much love and sincerity you have toward God. That it makes them want to know this God that you love so much. Amen. Because, you know what, anything that you do just out of habit, yeah. it's just that. People know it. People are tired of just... Hearing it and seeing it. Repetitive like, repetitive prayers. It's like grace. It's, it's different when it comes from the heart. I think that's why the Lord says come to him. You know, as a little child. Yeah. Because a child, you know what? They don't stop to think, oh, I need to do this, this, this. No, they just, whatever comes from their heart, they just let it out. <laughs> sometimes not good. Sometimes it is good. Sometimes it can be very embarrassing Amen. for the parents what that kid says. Amen, Cindy. But, but it's morning. coming from their heart. Morning, April. Morning, Don Silla. Morning, Kevin. Good morning, everyone. So we put our trust in the Lord, but verse 3 says what not to put your trust in. Put not your trust in princes. <laughs> princes, those are people that have government ruling over you. Uh... Don't put your trust in princes, nor in the son of man. People. It's people. And, it, and I looked up the word son, and it means son, like a father's male offspring. <laughs> That's And son of man. And man means man like a guy, a, a, a human. So it doesn't mean, doesn't mean something special there. It just says don't put your trust in people. Uh, in whom there is no help. Yeah. And the word help there actually is very similar to the word that we use that we get help, deliverance, and salvation from. That your salvation does not come from people. It comes from Jesus. It comes from the Lord. He, his breath goeth forth. He returneth to his earth. In that, that very day, his thoughts this 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 is man. man man man's breath goeth forth he returneth to his earth in that very day his thoughts perish or his plans are gone mm -hmm. the day that they die the man's last breath is breath and he goes back into the grave so this is don't put your trust in people who are going to die just like you put your trust in the lord who's not yeah put your trust in jesus they killed jesus but jesus came back alive Amen. There, there is more than enough logical evidence to, to back that up. Hap, happy is he that hath God, the God of Jacob, for his help, whose hope is in the Lord his God, which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that is therein, or therein is, which keepeth truth forever. I tell people often that the Bible starts with, in the beginning, God Amen. created the heavens and the earth. If you have a problem with that, you need to stop and fix that problem. Because you might as well not go any further than, than, than that. Because in the beginning, God. You first have to know that God is, is a believer. Now, you may read it, and a lot of people read the scriptures, and some people read the scriptures and they don't have a belief in God. Or some people, they believe in God, but they have no relationship with him. Having a relationship means that you have a friendship with somebody. It means you talk to them and they speak to you. It means that it's you share things with them. You are in fellowship with them. Mm -hmm. Having a relationship with the Lord is something that changes your life because it gives you really somebody to not just go and talk to because we all like to just to talk to somebody sometimes. 
it gives you somebody who you can talk to that can bring you real answers. Real answers. Keep reading. Yeah, I love that because it says, Happy is he that has the God of Jacob for his help. For his help. Amen. Um, six, right? No, six. Six, yeah. And we're, which, finished, we're just going to read that all the way through real quick. Okay. Which made heaven and earth, the sea and all that is therein, which keepeth truth forever. We talked about that yesterday. We touched on that God is f forever. What his word says, it will happen. It is established. It will do its thing. Which execute his judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry. The Lord loses, looses the prisoners. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord raises them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. The Lord preserveth the strangers. He relieveth the fatherless and the widow, but the way of the wicked he turns upside down. The Lord shall reign forever. Even thy God, O Zion, unto all generations, praise ye the Lord. Hey. Keep a praise song in your heart. That's what this is saying. And rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. And I'm going to give you Psalms. No, excuse me. Second Samuel 22, 2 says, The Lord is my rock and my fortress and my deliverer. Three says, the God of my strength in whom I will trust. Amen. Thank you for joining trust us. Him. We'll see you tomorrow morning at, at 7 o'clock. <laughs> Bye-bye.